Here, we are going to consider another interesting problem from Lilavati, the treatise on mathematics written by Bhaskaracharya in 12th century. It starts with a pond in which stands a lotus and there is a gentle breeze. Because of this, the lotus starts swaying and eventually the breeze forces the lotus to get submerged in water. Now we know a few things. We know the submerged position. We know the height of this lotus above water before it got submerged and the path uh, its tip took. That would give us the distance between the upright position and the submerged position, the point at which it got submerged. And from these two bits of information, these two lengths, we are supposed to figure out what was the depth of the pond. Like always, we can start by reducing our problem to its bare essential ingredients. So we can get rid of this pond, this statement, the lotus, the wind, and even the dipped position. And we are left with these few lines. Let us solve this algebraically first. And we are going to start with this right angle triangle in which we know this length, but we do not know this side, which is the depth to be found. But uh, the hypotenuse here would consist of the entire length of the lotus, part that is submerged in water plus part that is sticking out of water. So this is going to be D plus H. Then we can write the expression for Pythagoras that uh, the hypotenuse square D plus H square is equal to L square plus D square. Let's expand the squares. And uh, as you can see, this D square on both sides can be cancelled. So instead of a quadratic, we are going to get a simple linear equation which can then be solved for getting the depth. Like before, we are going to solve this problem in a geometric manner as well. And we can even restate it in geometrical terms. So instead of saying we need to find this length or quantity D here, we need to find this point, the deepest point in the pond from which then we can measure the distance to the surface, that is the depth. To find that point, let us interpret that point. And then you will notice that this initial position of the lotus and this final position of the lotus are nothing but two radii of this circular pa arc. This arc, the path of the tip, is going to have this point as its center. And therefore, it all boils down to finding the center of this circular arc. Of course, we don't know this circular arc. All we know is the uh, chord over here because we know the initial position of this tip and the submerged position of this tip. But from the chord, finding a center is easy. All we need to do is draw a perpendicular bisector. And that will intersect this initial position or the direction, vertical direction at the center. So that is how we can find the center and measure the depth. And finally, here are the numerical values given in Lilavati. So the height of lotus sticking out is half a unit. The distance between the upright position and the submerged tip is two units uh, and calculations reveal that the depth of pond would be 15 over 4 or 3 and 3 quarter of units.